Okay, tomorrow is family dinner, and um, we're going to have what our family calls a mean roast. So I'm going to make the roast today and um, reheat it tomorrow. That's how I make my roast. So anyway, I had Kroger's had buy one, get one free. So I bought uh, two choice beef check pot roasts. And then the ingredients I use is I use um, some onions, just regular yellow onions. I use two of them. Um, three potatoes for the roasted potatoes. Um, garlic salt, which is zero points. Uh, the Lori's seasoned salt, which is zero points. The meat tenderizer, which is zero points. Um, a bag of carrots. Um, mushrooms. I don't know if you can see the mushrooms. Oh, come on. Mushrooms. Um, mushrooms, don't wash them off with water. At least I don't. I just brush the dirt off um, and then cut the stems off at the end. And then um, two jars of gravy and a stick of butter and a, a measuring cup. And this is the roasting pan I use. So um, the first thing I do is I rinse the carrots off. I fill the bag up with water just to rinse them off a little bit. Just to drain it out. And then I refill the bag with water about halfway. And then I just pour it in the bottom. And then I take the mushrooms, which I've already you know, cleaned off, and just pour them in there. And then I take my roasts. Um, I do wash my ro roasts off. I just run, give them a quick rinse. Um, it's just a habit that I've had. Nothing really major. I don't know why I do it, but I just do it. And then um, I just sear it with a knife. And then I just, I don't measure, I'm sorry. I just kind of sprinkle. You just have to figure out what you, what you need, I guess. Sorry about that. And then I lay this side flat down. And then I do the same thing with the, uh, uh, the roast. I always do two roasts because I feed a lot of people. And uh, this is, it comes out really tender doing it this way. And it's easier to slice this, the slices a little thinner when the meat is cold. So, pierce that side too. Once again, sprinkle the bottom. Okay, and then once I do that, I put that in the pan. Bring the pan over here. Okay, now what I do is I pierce this side too. And season this side too. I'm a little more generous with this um, meat tenderizer on this side. Um, I don't know why, just am. And the salt. Okay, at this point, I put, I slice the onions in half. Uh, we like to eat a roasted onion, at least I do. Not everybody does, but I eat a roasted onion. So I just put one on each one, you know, split them in half. And then I put a stick of butter. Uh, I know it seems like it's a lot that you could probably not have the butter, but you do need to have some sort of fat in your diet anyhow. And it does make the uh, roast just a little bit tender. So I just cut it up into four, um, you know, equal pieces, you know, eyeball them. And then I put them next to the onions. If you can see, kind of like that. Um, and that's just kind of like to distribute the juices on the, uh, on the, what do you call it? On the roast. I think for a minute. Then I put my potatoes down the middle. I forgot salt and pepper. 
I do salt and pepper the, the uh, potatoes and the onions. We like pepper. And that's, it's seasoning, so there's no points in it. Okay. Um, this is where I think there's the difference of opinion on the seasoning mix. I scanned the bar and it came up one point. And other people that I've seen on their videos have said that they use a packet of seasoning mix and it's one point. But if you look at the serving size, one point is for one tablespoon and each package is four servings. So that should be four points if you use an envelope, not one. And I use both envelopes, so that's eight. So um, I put one on the uh, one row, and I sprinkle it over the potatoes and the onions. And then I put the other one on uh, the other row. Oh, that was a big clump. And then I want to make sure there's enough liquids on the bottom of the pan. So I usually just put like, you could put beef broth. Um, I usually just put a little bit of water because I think I have the, uh, you know, from the salt and that. And um, put the lid on it. Now I'm going to bake it at 350 for uh, two hours. And then I will come back to you. Okay, it's been about two hours. I'm going to take the lid off. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take my jar of gravy and just kind of pour it over the top. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 30 minutes, uh, uncovered. And I'll show you once it's done. Okay, um, here's the finished product. There's the roast, and the potatoes and the onions, and the carrots, and the mushrooms. Um, I'm just going to put some aluminum foil over the top and put them in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'll just I'll slice the meat up thin. I'll show you tomorrow when I do it. And um, pour a jar of gravy over the top. And the potatoes and the carrots and the mushrooms, I just um, put foil over and heat them up. Um, I do use this Wondra to um, thicken up the liquids on the bottom of the pan to make gravy. I am not a gravy eater, so I wouldn't even know how to tell you how many points it is. But uh, my family likes potato, it likes gravy, so um, that's why I make it. So I'll see you guys when I finish up slicing the meat. Okay, I've sliced the meat up, and now I'm going to put the two jars of gravy over the top of it, just to cook it. There's one jar. I know it's not really a Weight Watchers meeting, but I'm telling you that the whole point of Weight Watchers is to eat what you enjoy. And um, you don't have to put the gravy on it, I just find that it makes the meat a little bit moister. And then what I'm going to do is put the foil back on top. I'm going to put it in the oven at 350, and I'm going to cook it for um, probably a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes. My foil ripped a little bit, but that's okay. The steam will get out and keep it hot. And then my carrots and my mushrooms here. Okay. I just leave them for, just covered with the foil and put them in the oven to reheat. So that's, um, that's dinner. I'll let you see it when it's all done. Okay, for the pot roast, um, my pot roast came out to be 80 ounces, which would be 95 points. Um, two points for the th two packs of uh, Lipton soup mix. One stick of butter was 40 points. Um, I used three jars of gravy, which is 12 points. Zero for the carrots, zero for the mushrooms, zero for the onions. So it comes to 155 points. Uh, you, I'm going to get 24 ounce servings out of that. So it's going to equal to 7.75 so I just rounded it off to 8 points for a 4 ounce serving. Um, if I did this wrong let me know but this is the way I figured it out. Hopefully that was right. I don't want to steer anybody wrong. And she, oh, me. There's the finished product of the roast. Me. And the potatoes and the carrots. What 